he spoke to me from his grave. I'm not crazy. I heard my baby's voice. Well, because of that, I had his body exhumed. And I came here to let you guys know what's going on. I hired another coroner to perform another autopsy. And all of my baby's organs had been stolen. And they stuffed his body with newspaper. What? They stuffed my baby's body with newspaper. Did you hear me? Newspaper! I'm so sorry. In this 2006 article, USA Today estimates that more than 16,800 families have been represented in lawsuits that claim that their loved ones' body parts have been stolen for profit over the course of like 19 years. You okay? Yeah, babe. Finish reading, I wanna, I wanna hear this. Okay. All right, so get this. So the World Health Organization estimates that as many as 7,000 kidneys are illegally obtained by traffickers every year other organs such as hearts, lungs, and livers, and human tissue such as bones, tendons, and other body parts are illegally harvested all over the world for transplant, for research, education. Baby, this could be connected to all this gang violence. <laughs> Simi, you okay? Talk like that. This could be it for us. Babe, two miscarriages in ten years? This is draining me. I just don't want us to give up. I love you. I tried everything. We eat organic foods. I clean the house with chemical-free products. I just don't know. I don't know what else to do. I'm sorry. Yes, I mean. so much for your hard work. Thank you. Bye. She just got off the phone with the DA. They dropped all the charges to Sean's murder. <laughs> Good news. Good time. I love you. Things you're gonna have to change about yourself. Well, you should have thought about that before you started letting me tap that. I mean, I am who I am. Why are you trying to change me now? Do you hear yourself? Do you hear the words coming out of your mouth? God, you act so immature and, and ignorant sometimes. Okay, I might be a little ignorant, but how am I immature? Come on, really immature? Really immature, yes. You're 40 years old. And I've seen you maybe one time in a suit. Not to mention you drive around with the music blasting to Mount Celine. Watch this, I'm gonna beat up the block. Really? Who does that? And you still refer to women, queens, goddesses, as hoes. That's immature. That's just the way I talk. 
And that's the only way I hear the lyrics to the music. It's immature. And you need to expand your vocabulary. You know, it's ironic. Uh, ironic? That's a big word. <laughs> but it's ironic how you refer to me as immature because I call women who behave immaturely hoes. I call women women and hoes hoes. Simple. Yeah, isn't that simple? So what happens if this baby right here is a little girl? How would you feel, Terrence, if some guy called her out of her name? First of all, I'll bust his damn head. Second of all, I'm gonna be a good daddy. So my daughter ain't gonna never be no hoe. Why you gotta point fingers at me though? Mm -mm. Baby, I'm not pointing fingers at you. I just, I may be having your child. And I want the father of my child to be a good example. I want him to be somebody she could be proud of. And I want him to be educated. I know it's too late for you to go back to high school and get your diploma, but... Dang, baby, read a book. Self-educate yourself. Selena, I got my GED. Seriously, Terrence? Oh, God, why did you allow this man to impregnate me? Now, see, that's an immature state. And, and you went to junior college. You trying to talk about me. Oh, we Kill. both know I didn't go to no doggone junior college. And we both know God didn't have nothing to do with us having sex. You know who I am and you still decide to sleep with me. So I ain't gonna sit up here and let you uh, accuse God. Mm -hmm. Hell, one day I might decide to become a Christian, okay? And I ain't gonna let you get me in trouble with the Lord. Uh, Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, look at that. I make you laugh. Yeah, you do, and that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But I may be having your baby, parents, and I'm gonna need for you to get a real job. Here we go. No, no, seriously, doing security for your brother at special events is not a real job. I'm talking about a steady check, steady income. You know, Celine, you, oh, you just you really know how to dig in my ego, don't you, baby? You really know how to do it. I'm not digging at your ego. I just. I want us to work towards this together. I'm working towards being a better person. I want you to do the same. I know you're gonna find what it is you love to do. You're gonna pursue it and you're gonna get it. You know why? Because I see you. You understand me? I see you. What you trying to tug on my heart and make me cry? Mm, I ain't trying to make you cry. I love you. Do you really? Yes, I do. And I have for a long time. And I love you too. You know what? what? I ain't gonna call another woman a hoe. You might have a daughter. Hmm. Or a son. We don't want him growing up calling women out their name either. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I'm having your baby. And you're going to marry me. You know, these hoes ain't loyal. Oh, <laughs> <Aaron>. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> baby, I love you. <laughs> I love you. Yes. But we not having sex no more in that little ass room that you call a home. You gotta get your own place. <laughs> Wait a minute. You just started reading self-help books uh -huh. and now you want to evolve me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got a family now. Yeah, we having a baby. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. Mm Did the autopsy on my baby's body. His name was Kenny Cream. Pardon me? You did the autopsy on my baby's body. His name was Kenny Green. I'm sorry. 
that I perform hundreds of autopsies. He stole all of his organs. Ow. Now my baby can rest in peace.